Hi, my name is Massimiliano Guri, and I'm the Identity and Access Management Product Manager at Canonica. In today's video, we're going to show you how you can use your Google Identity credentials, being it your personal accounts or the one of your work account, to authenticate to an Ubuntu server um, over SSH. That is possible thanks to OD, and we're going to discuss its uh, high-level architecture, and then have a look at the main configuration files. If we switch over to the terminal, you can see that I have a LXT server where I have created an Ubuntu 2404 machine. What I'm going to try to do now is basically SSH using my uh, personal Google account into the server. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm presented with a choice. I can either use my local password um, or complete the device authentication. I've already completed the configuration, so I'm going to go ahead and select the second one. Um, the first thing that I'm uh, asked is basically to go on the Google device uh, flow page, uh, which I'm doing it now. I'm switching to my personal account um, and then enter uh, this code uh, just to make sure that um, there is the right device identification. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Um, in this case, I already have an active session, so uh, but otherwise you would be asked to authenticate again. And because this is the first time that I'm trying to use my account to authenticate into uh, the Ubuntu server, then I need to give my consent. Let's actually go ahead and say that we are waiting for the authentication. What is happening here is that the server, uh, as part of the device uh, authorization grant, is basically uh, polling um, the uh, Polling Google and basically uh, waiting for a thumbs up or a confirmation of the fact that I successfully completed uh, my authentication. Um, as you can see, um, um, like at the bottom, uh, I am basically um, showing that I authenticated um, and, and I'm using the uh, my my personal Google account into um, the uh, into the uh, the twenty four four Lexi server. Actually, uh, go ahead and explain um, how that is possible. Um, I have switched on uh, now to the OD documentation uh, just to show you how this system works. So um, we refer to OD as a single name, but in reality, it's a combination of two components, uh, a deb uh, and um, a bro what we call a broker stamp. So uh, the DEB um, is OD, and uh, basically uh, it is the uh, privileged component that talks to all the uh, backend server uh, services on the OS or on the desktop. So SSG, uh, um, GTM, uh, um, PAM, and, 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 and whatnot. Uh, and then uh, exposes certain capabilities over a DPAS API. Um, these capabilities are basically uh, consumed uh, by uh, what we call broker stuff. So those stuffs are um, sort of like privileged components that um, are there as a bridge and interact uh, between the cloud identity provider uh, and uh, this uh, um, this interface. Um, you, we decided to to use uh, um, different snaps so that you um, we give the ability to support multiple identity providers on the same Ubuntu machine, being it like a desktop or a server. We have used Google, but for example, we also have a broker snap for Entra ID, and so you can uh, have multiple identity providers configured um, on the same machine um, at the same time. Um, OD was initially launched with support for Entra ID uh, in November 2024. Uh, we've just released the support for Google Identity, uh, and uh, we are hoping to extend the support to additional um, enterprise and personal identity providers um, in the uh, coming months. Um, so let's actually uh, go back to um, our um, uh, to our terminal and have a look at uh, how that is possible. So um, let's uh, shell back, uh, let's use LFC and um, into uh, our um, server and uh, let's actually have a look um, at the OD tab. So um, as you can see uh, here, we have the version um, 0.4.1 of the tab installed. 
Um, this is the uh, 10th of March. This video is being recorded on the 10th of March, 2025. Um, and um, basically, this is the baseline component that is required uh, to, to be installed um, in, order, in order for this capability to be available uh, on the Ubuntu machine. Um, OD is uh, an enterprise component, and as such, it is available on 24.04, so it, it will be available on all the LTS versions of Ubuntu going forward, starting from uh, 24.04 LTS, so then 26.04, uh, and, and so forth. Um, at this moment in time, we don't have any plan to backport it to uh, earlier um, LTS versions. Uh, let's also um, have a look at the snaps that we have installed. And as you can see, we have the OD Google uh, snap installed. Um, so the, um, there is a main um, configuration file uh, inside the snap um, that, uh, I, uh, that is important to show because it is the one that sort of like um, uh, governed the, the capabilities uh, of the system. So uh, let's actually uh, go there and have a look at it. And it is the broker.conf. So let's have a look at it. Um, what you can see here is that in the top part uh, of the file, um, so this file looks a little bit different uh, depending on the uh, on the identity provider and, and the specific identity provider snap. Uh, because um, while, um, let me just say, all of the identity provider um, rely on the device authorization grant uh, th um, there are some slight deviations uh, from the rfc uh, depending on the specific identity provider and um, so um, in this case uh, we are setting up um, in, in the top part we are setting up the issuer and then we have a space uh, to um, configure the client ID and client secret um, then uh, what we can see is that uh, there is uh, in the first section um, where uh, we can uh, basically specify um, what is the on base directory um, with uh, for for all the users that that authenticate. Um, we have a way to set what are the uh, allowed suffixes. Uh, so if your organization, for example, uh, owns multiple domain, this is how you can you can restrict it. Um, in the following part, that's where we define the uh, device uh, ownership. Um, so um, you can decide whether to um, assign the server to uh, the first user that, uh, that looks in, uh, to a specific users, or um, to grant rights to all the people that are able to, uh, um, to authenticate. Um, and finally, in, in the last part, uh, you can uh, set up um, a specific um, owner uh, manually. Uh, in my case, I went for um, like a, a like a very minimal configuration where um, I'm since I'm using my my personal account, um, I'm setting up my, uh, as myself as the owner, uh, and uh, also um, uh, let me just say whitelisting uh, the gmail.com uh, domain. If you want to um, get uh, more information, you can do so by uh, going to our documentation. Uh, we have auto guides, uh, both for the installation and configuration of the several parameters, um, including uh, also uh, what uh, might be required to do uh, on, the, uh, on the cloud side. Um, you will find toggles for Google and Enter ID because the, these are the two main identity provider uh, that we support, but we are planning to extend uh, support to third party ones. And finally, um, I wanted to call out the fact that uh, while um, in as part of this video, we showed the server use case, uh, OD also works on desktop and uh, basically uh, allows to um, also reuse your uh, uh, Azure um, or your Google account to authenticate into that. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy OT. Please do provide feedback.